Hi, Dave Brichetti here. Let's have a lesson on functions. Let's write some code that consists of uh, several pieces. One is hello and welcome to the simulation. And then we'll have a loop and say for n in range 10. And we'll simulate throwing, uh, flipping a coin. So we'll say if randint one to two is equal to one, then we'll call that a heads. Else we'll call it a tails. And then we'll have a message here. Now for intermission, and then we'll do um, Let's flip some more coins. Okay, notice uh, since I have a single quote in here, I'm going to use a double quote to mark the beginning and end of the string. Okay, now I want to flip more coins, so uh, let's make sure this part works so far. Okay, I need to import randint, so from random import randint. And I run, and there it goes. Okay, I'm going to change this just so it does three, so the output uh, fits better. Okay, now if I want to do the simulation again after the intermission, what can I do? I can copy this code and paste it down here, and then I'll say print, we are done. Now run this. Hello, welcome to the simulation, and here are three simulated tosses and now for intermission okay let's flip some more and there it is again all right now um, we violated a rule a principle of programming called don't repeat yourself because this section of code is duplicated so what we're going to do is take it out and move it into a function so we'll make a function here called um, toss coins and we're going to move this code into it and indent it because it's now part of the function. And where we want to use the function, where we want to call it or make it run, we just type the name of it like this. And since we're going to flip the coins in two different places, we'll call it twice. So now the program's a little bit shorter. And let's run. And it seems to work still. That's good. And we've shortened it. So there, there are several benefits to using functions. And I've mentioned um, that we don't want to repeat ourselves. Another benefit is organization. Um, if you have your program as just many, many lines, uh, it's harder to read than it is if you break it into functions. Because functions should have a uh, specific purpose. They should do one thing only. And, uh, and they should have a meaningful name. All right, that's functions.